Hey friends, it's Rachel with the Ponds Farmhouse, and we're going to be jumping right in today to a fun DIY project. We're making a DIY wood horse race game that would be so much fun for the Kentucky Derby, but also fun year-round, and it's perfect for kids and adults of all ages. You don't need a lot of power tools because you're going to use a uh, birch board here, and the board is two foot by two foot by one half inch thick and you just want to sand it down. Are you a fan of budget-friendly decorating? DIY projects that don't cost anything but look like a million bucks? Going to the thrift store and turning a piece of junk into a masterpiece? Then you're in the right place because that's what we're all about here at the Ponds Farmhouse. We help you to create the home of your dreams, but on a budget. So if you are interested in following along with us, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and let's get started with the adventures. Once you have your board sanded and sealed and it's silky smooth, you're ready to begin adding your grid to the um, plywood. What we're going to do first is we're going to draw off the bottom part of the board. This is actually the scratch section of the board and I'm going to stick in here a little graphic that shows you the exact dimensions um, that I used here. These first squares are two by two inches each and then as we move up the board we're going to be diminishing the size of them. But just take your ruler and um, a and you want to start out with a pencil here because that way if you make any mistakes, you can always erase them and start over. But <clears throat> I also left a um, one inch border at the bottom and a two inch border on either side of the grid. So this is quick and easy, it doesn't take much time. As we move up the board, we're starting out with some one, two inch wide but one and a half inch um, grids and then we're going to move into uh, even a one inch by two inch grid. So I'm going to stick that little um, piece of information in here for you so that you can see it. You may want to take a screenshot of this just so that you can refer back to it, but this is what the grid looks like. So as we continue up, we're just getting a little bit smaller and bringing it in. Um, and as I said, you can see, take a snapshot of that so that you can see exactly how it looks at the very top here. Next, we're preparing our horses, and these are just plain golf tees, and we're using some E6000 glue to glue these little mini plastic horses to the tops of them. While those are drying, you want to go ahead and drill a hole at each intersection on your grid. Use a 3 16th drill bit, should be the right size, and then you want to sand away any rough edges here because you want it to be really, really smooth. Then let's go ahead and paint all around the edges of the, uh, the board. Um, I'm leaving this center section open here. This is where I put the graphic that says horse race on it. It's also the dividing line between the um, actual horse race and the scratched horses. So you can see um, clearly where which horses are scratched and which ones are actually in play during the horse race game. So this is quick and easy. I actually did two coats of um, white chalk paint on this. Uh, you wanna paint around the edges as well as the um, top of the board itself. And this will just, again, really define where you, you have um, your horses in play versus those that are scratched. And it's also fun to add graphics here. Now the graphics are optional. But if you decide that you want to, I do have some uh, templates that you can use, and I'll put those, the links to those for you in the description. The graphics, you just print them off on copy paper, and then take a pen, number two pencil and color the backside of your um, graphic. Then use an ink pen to trace that onto your board. Just place the... Um, the copy paper exactly where you want your graphic to be, and then use your ink pen to trace it. 
Once you have it traced, then go back in with your Sharpie pencils, or markers, I should say, and color in your graphics. If you're artistic, you could just freehand this, or if you have a silhouette or a Cricut uh, machine, you could cut this out of vinyl and place it on here, or actually do a stencil so that you could paint it in or stencil it on. But I just prefer to do this the easy way. Also, you want to highlight all of the lines that you drew with the pencil. Um, this is the horse that I uh, use for my graphic. And again, this is optional. You could do anything that you chose to do here, but um, it just makes it a, a much cuter board if you have something fun on it. And um, I used a Sharpie marker to fill in. However, you could use uh, a paint pen or you could do this with actual paint if you prefer. And again, this could be done with a uh, vinyl graphic if you wanted to uh, cut one or purchase one. I also used a red marker for the finish line and a green marker for the starting gate. So here's what it looks like finished. Um, all you need is some two dice and your 11 horses and you're ready to play. Isn't it fun? If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me.